Here's where I'm at, because I'm tired. I saw the video. I had a long conversation with someone who works in law enforcement this morning trying to understand, right? Like, how? How do you shoot four times? Like, I get she had a knife. I get you didn't know what was going on. You don't have a taser. You can't shoot in the leg. You can't shoot in the foot. Are you guys just trained to kill or are you guys trained to de-escalate as well? Because do we need... Who's policing the police at this point? She was young. Shh. Hold on, Baba. She was scared. These people showed up to her house. Here's where I'm at. Charge the girls too. Yeah. Charge the girl. I listen. I, I I look look look. I am not perfect. We all make mistakes. We all know we did knuckleheaded shit when we were younger. But at a certain point, somebody lost their life behind this. A woman, a, a mother is without her daughter this morning. Somebody's without their loved one. A young girl who had her whole life ahead of her. Okay, is gone. Except, I'm not saying he wasn't supposed to do something before fucking shot. Four. You took your gun out. You shot four, four at a young girl. No, Baba. Mama's not upset. Mama's telling the story. Okay. I'm not upset. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Okay. Everything's fine. He's so protective over me, bro. It's crazy. It's just me and him. So protective. As soon as I raise my voice, he ready. My thing. Hey, Nat. I'm gonna hit you in a minute. My thing is. We have to start making an example, an example out of people. I have always felt like our justice system was too lenient. I have always felt like uh, so many heinous crimes happen here. So many things with pedophilia. So many uh, 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 robberies, uh, attacks against women, hate crimes, this and that. And people, murders, unjustified murders. And people continuously get off with a slap on the wrist. If, if, if that, I'm sick of it. So guess what? In the spirit of holding people accountable, here's where I'm at. He needs to be reprimanded for those four shots, period. Little girl lost her life. And the and the hooligans who went to that young girl's house, who drove her to her death. I had a whole argument about this this morning with somebody from law enforcement who told me, who said to me, they can't charge the girls. What they're going to charge them for, for fighting? I said, no, 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 no. Fighting that led to her death. For those who are saying, I understand the knife situation, but you have to understand. Think about it for a second if this was you, right? You're in your house. Not on the street. You can't fight. You can't shoot a fair with, one, with, with more than, you know, it's how, how, how. How? But these people are coming to attack you. See, what I would train my children is you don't open up the motherfucking door. If harm is coming to you, and we got to start talking to them about this. If harm is coming, if somebody shows up here that should not be here, you lock yourself inside and you call me. Another thing, this is why I say you got to be cool with your neighbors. Yes. So when you're not around mom and dad and you're working as you should because you got to pay all these bills, you know, the ones they killing us with. And taking care of these kids, somebody can have eyes on your house, especially if you have children on children there. So the argument that I got into this morning with the person that works in law enforcement was, Tanisha, the problem is the ones that are doing the crimes are the young people. They are the bad ones. That's the ones that's doing the shit because the old pe the old cats not trying to go to jail. So he he told me a lot or more often times than not, they'll find a a, a young, <laughs> you know. Um, a young person who's who has no direction, no father figure, nobody really at home, and get them to do their dirty work, and then promise them a, 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 a slot in their organization when they get out. Could you believe this? And these kids are falling for this. These kids are falling for this. Parents, we really, we got a lot of work to do. 
And in the video, I don't know what happened in its entirety, but there was grown folks in that video. You got to be shitting me at this day and age. If you think I'm going to see a bunch of kids trying to hurt somebody and I'm not going to try to do something. At this point, at this point, I'm so nervous with the way things are going. Like, I feel like I have to stop. Every time I see a cop car, I'm looking. Bitch, I don't care who's in the car. Black, white, purple, blue, multicolored, rainbow, woman, man, mix, alien. Bitch, if I see a cop car nowadays, I'm looking. I'm waiting. Because I don't know. And we all human. I'm sick of it. And we need to start holding people accountable, period. I don't care what color you are. You need to be held accountable, period. Now, let's hold those girls accountable too. Because what you doing? If one of you, you telling me five or six of you had a problem with this young girl and you that much of a punk, y'all all had to run up? Hmm? You that much of a pussy that you, see, talking bad in front. You that much of a, yeah, that you had to run up together? Where they do that at? Charge them. Don't give them life. But make an example so that when the next group of knuckleheaded motherfuckers are bored and feel like they could run up and do some bullshit like this, they're going to think twice. They're going to be like, nah, son. They gave them girls five years. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start taking away your freedom for stupidity. That child not coming back. I don't care what the problem was. I don't care what they was fighting over. She, she is dead. Because of all of it, somebody got to pay. Baby, I have one child. I'm not having no more. And Lord, Lord help this nation. God forbid something happened to him. Y'all already know I'm a fucking terrorist. Y'all already know. Somebody would have to bring, they have to find him for me. You hear me? They have to piece him back together, God forbid. Piece him back together. Come on, baby. No, mama not mad. Mama not mad. Come. Let's go. Mama not mad. These, they doing too much. They just doing too much. Come on, honey. Let's go. Let's go. You're a good boy. They just doing too much, sis. And you know what I'm saying? And then, and then this woman got to go bury her, her 16 year old daughter. Her 16 year old daughter. No. No. Go. Go ahead, baby. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and get to work. It's just been on my mind that we just got to start holding everybody accountable so that people start thinking twice and triple when they want to do something stupid. Period. I'm scared as a mother. I'm scared as a black woman. I'm scared as a mom. I'm just, I'm just so nervous because these, I don't know if it's the pandemic. I don't know what it is, but you guys, people are literally losing it, losing it. I don't get it. It's like no regard for human life. None. What happened to fighting one-on-one? -on -one? When I was coming up, okay, they jumped kids. Yes. When I was coming up in Brooklyn, I did see that sometimes, but more often times than not in Brooklyn, they shot the fair. They shot the fit. It was one-on-one, -on -one, no knives, no guns, nothing. And sometimes the parents would get it popping too. <laughs> Listen, the beef was so thick when I was coming up in school that they sometimes the kids wouldn't stop fighting. School got to get involved. Parents, they done bring the parents for a conference and the parents get it popping too. And that was it. You know, security got to come, whatever. And that was it. Those were the, When I was coming up, that's what it, what, that's what it was like. And if you got your ass whooped, you either fight again or you deal with the ass whooping. You ain't going to win every fight, bro. But you win some and lose some and you live to fight another day. Next. That's what it was. Nowadays, it's just extra. I got, we got to talk to our children. Because furthermore, um, I, you got, when harm arrives at your doorstep, you don't go outside to confront it. Especially if you are outnumbered. Because what, how can you win that? You understand what I'm saying? That's my logic. I ain't, a, I ain't a punk. I ain't never been a punk. I don't care who you are, what you are, where you come from, nothing. No, I, I done seen it all. I ain't never scared. Okay? But you got to be smart. So if I'm outnumbered, I'm not even going in that. 
I'm calling the cops. I'm a victim. I don't know what's going on. If it's one of you, maybe even two, I might take a chance. But I'm not, I'm not doing, no, sis. And then today, you really don't know what people are up to. You might be ready to have a fist fight, a fair fight with somebody and knock some sense into them. And they got a whole weapon in their bag. This is the way people are moving today. This is the way people are moving today. There's no regard for human life. I'm sick of it. Hold them girls accountable as well. So hold the cop accountable for the four shots and hold those girls accountable as well. Period. Moving forward. That's it. Let everybody think twice and three times about what the fuck they doing before they, fuck, they, they fucking do it. Because enough is enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I mean, I could, we, couldn't have, we couldn't have 24 hours. We couldn't have to. You, 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 as a black person, the trauma. That's what I'm saying, Aiden. We couldn't have 24 hours. Lock everybody up. Lock everybody up. That's it. Lock everybody up. That's it. Lock everybody up. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Just, I don't care. I don't care. Lock her up. Lock her up. Let, her, let that be the example for people. People need to stop. If, if, I'm telling you. If people started doing fucked up shit and they really started punishing motherfuckers the way they should punish motherfuckers, motherfuckers wouldn't do this shit. They get off too easy in this country. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. For the death penalty, by the way. Yes, I'm for the electric chair. I'm for the death penalty. I actually prefer street justice, if you really want to know, for like pedophiles and shit like that. I just, bruh, I'm telling you, we would have a different world if there was more gangster in terms of their consequences for the dumbass actions. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Say what you want to say about me. Say what you want to say. But some people, yo, we can't fix them, bro. They got to go. Go. Yes. Yes, I am for it. because I, I, And when I say I'm for the death penalty and the electric chair, I'm talking about for crimes that are just to, not just for anything. I'm talking about for heinous, inhumane stuff. The stuff that hurts us. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person is so toxic, we don't even need them around the population. We're just going to rid them. Because they done just did something so inhu. You understand what I'm saying? Honestly, what? What do we need police for? That's what I'm saying. At this point, we just need some guard. We need some type of guards or, 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 or um, uh, mental. Some type. They need, in my opinion, they, they, the police need police. The police need police, sis. And that's just that. These and, and, and you know, here I was. Here I was thinking body cams was gonna actually make a difference. Here I was thinking body here I was thinking the body cams would have led them to start thinking differently, reacting differently. You know what I'm saying? Stupid me. As a matter of fact, I think the body cameras made them worse. I, I don't wanna Start your day off with anxiety. And I know y'all are dealing with a lot. Some of you are not working. As a matter of fact. And, and going through so much. And I actually took a day. I'm here with the baby. Alone. You see him. He don't give a, He's just chilling. Look at my house. Look. <laughs> I took the day before yesterday. To finally go through my emails. For. Um, I had put up something for. A personal assistant. And you guys. I started reading those emails at 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. I didn't stop until almost four in the morning because I couldn't believe who was applying to work with me. You're talking about people with bachelors, mm-hmm. masters. Yeah, Baba. Yeah, honey. What you want? What? What you want? What? I already gave you one, though. What? What is it? Show it Show it to me. What is it? All types of degrees. Super overqualified. So here's what I'm going to do. I actually started to reply. I took my time and started to reply to people. Thanking them for applying. Girl, I had people tell me they'll come from Nigeria. I had people tell me they'll relocate from Kentucky. I had people... Chemists. Uh, uh, um, X-ray tech. Uh, di- I just don't know who to choose. 
So shout out to y'all. A lot of y'all are well to do. A lot of y'all did very well for yourselves. And I'm so sorry y'all are out of work. Shit. I'm looking at the resumes like these are really good people. Like really good people. Y'all y'all did well for yourself. And I, you know, babe was like, get some sleep. You got to watch the baby. I was so interested in your resumes. And you guys wrote me like short bios. And I got to go through a few more. I don't know if I found the right person. I'm super duper picky, you guys. You guys cannot blame me. You see what's happening in the world. Whoever's going to be working closely with me will be working very closely with my son. And I just don't play that shit. Yeah, I ain't calling the cops. I'm going to handle it myself, period. I just got to make sure you are the right person. The right energy is everything. It will make or break you. I have enough stress being a public figure. I don't need anybody on my team contributing. So... I don't know exactly who or what I'm looking for. Am I interviewing virtually through Zoom? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I was going to try to meet in person. My normal thing would be to kind of meet up, you know, um, with a few prospects, get something to eat or whatever. But because of COVID, I think that I'm going to try to possibly meet through Zoom first. Um, and then we'll see what happens. Okay. So anyway, you guys, um, sorry for starting off your day like that. I just had a lot on my chest. I wanted to come talk to you guys about it because it was really weighing heavy on me. And especially after I had the conversation with my law enforcement friend who told me that the girls probably won't be charged, I was even further frustrated. But um, I, uh, I really do believe we need to start holding more people accountable. Yeah. She wasn't committing a crime, harm to herself or others. That's all that matters. Yeah. What, well, what he was explaining to me was the cops are trained when they, to, to look at the aggressor. So kind of match that deadly weapon. He told me he wouldn't have shot. He said he would have flung her in the street. That's what he said. He said another option would have been to try to tase her, but then you risk tasing the other people because everybody was in such such close proximity. My thing is this, I would have rather everybody been tased and alive than a young lady losing her life. I get we all have a job to do, but when it's excess, it's excessive. Four gunshots? All he had to do was shoot in the air. Bam, bam, bam. Y'all know black people, we hear shots, we out. Why did he just shoot in the air? I don't, I don't understand. Like, I, and then my friend was getting mad at me because, you know, he, obviously he's in law enforcement and he's like, you guys always want to say what you guys would do. You guys are not in the position and it's happening so fast and, and, and people's lives are in danger. And that's the thing he he said, you know, the thing is, what if she would have stabbed one of the girls? What if she would have came after one of the officers? They don't know that this is what they're trained to do. And I'm like, well, they need to be better trained. Because she, she's the one who called for help. And like I said, if you, I understand the knife situation and it's scary and it's like a quick judgment thing. But a, a shot in the air, baby. A shot, but a shot in the air, baby. Would have cleared out that block. All right. All right. Yeah, three shots in the air. Two. You have to be that dramatic. Just two. Because, you know, you don't want it to bounce off anything. Two shots in the air. I'm telling you, everybody would have scurried like roaches. They just need better training. They need to get people to me that's not punks in the, in, in, in the police force. You know, they're so quick to grab their guns to me. And in my opinion, if you're a, if you, if you a little bit of a punk, you don't need to be a police officer. Because it just, the, the job is not for that. The job calls for you to have balls. The job calls for you to have reason. The job calls for you to have common sense. The job calls for you to protect and de-escalate. De so if you're going to be a pussy, there we go again. Sorry, my language. If you're going to be a punk, my nigga, that's not the job for you. Go apply for funky, for, um, um, uh, Uber Eats or something or, or not that that's a punk job. That's something where you're not putting, the.
These days you might be putting yourself in danger. No, the girl that had the knife was the victim. They showed up to her house. They showed up to her house to attack her. So she had the knife and allegedly she was going after the girls with the knife. And, and, and that's when the situation happened. She was trying to protect herself, allegedly. Um, that's what they're saying. Now, I saw the video myself and that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like they were coming for her. She went after them. In the video, the way that the video was shot, here's what I'm thinking, right? Because like, I'm like, damn, did she not see the police pull up? But the way I'm thinking is, you know, sometimes the police get the wrong address. They must have pulled up on a, around the corner or something because they came running towards the police in the video. Go watch the video. They came, I don't know. Don't watch the video. Don't watch the video. They, in the video, they came running towards the police, the girls, or the whole crowd. And he shot. He, he fired shots because he saw the knife in the, in the video. So... Yo, in this case, I, I can't say for sure if this is like there's, or there was ulterior motives or anything like that on his end. The only thing I can say as a civilian, as someone with common sense, is it was excessive, truly excessive and uncalled for. Four shots. One, two. Why not shoot in the leg? Someplace where you know the person is going to make it. You panicked and you squeezed off four. You don't belong on the force. You don't. You don't. Four? Come on. You take one bullet to kill an elephant. Come on. They doing too much. I'm getting tight. <sighs> Y'all have a good day. Sorry again with the energy. I'm I'm sorry. As you can tell, it's like really bothering. No, not the Easter. Not the Easter stuff. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Easter's over. No, no, no. Easter's over. Easter's over. Thank you so much, Papa. Let's go. Ah, where you get this? I gotta go, girl. He's tearing up the house. We'll talk later. You guys have a... a